Bonjour à tous, hello everyone. Aujourd'hui, on va parler au sujet de l'école. So today we're going to talk about school, spécifiquement au lycée, specifically at high school or things you might do in high school and the middle schools. La première mot, au lycée, on a le cours de chemie. So some of these words we've already seen before in French 1, but it's a good review, so I put them in here and highlighted them so that you know that you should know them. So au lycée, on a le cours de chemie. We have chemistry class dans le laboratoire. So laboratoire is our new word, and it's laboratory. It kind of looks like the word in English, so that might help you figure that one out on a quiz. Aussi, c'est où on fait, that's where we do, des expériences. Experience looks like experiences in English, but it's a false cognate. It's a faux, faux ami, faux, false friend. It doesn't, it doesn't mean experiences. It means experiments. So it might help you kind of figure out what word you're looking for, but just know that it doesn't mean experiences. It just means experiments. Aussi, quand on les fait, so using those direct object pronouns we just learned, quand on les fait, when we do them, c'est nécessaire de ne pas oublier, it's necessary to not forget les lunettes de protection, lunettes de protection, those safety goggles. C'est très chouette, those are very cool. On a le cours d'informatique dans la salle d'informatique. So le cours d'informatique, we learned it back in French 1. Le cours d'informatique, computer class. Dans la salle d'informatique, we learned la salle back in French 1 as well when we talked about la salle de classe, the classroom. So la salle d'informatique, the computer class or the computer room. In English, we usually call it just the computer lab. On peut y faire des recherches sur Internet. So you're going to learn this pronoun right here, this E. You're going to learn this one here in a little bit. But on peut y faire des recherches sur Internet just means there we can do research on the Internet. On peut les faire aussi au CDI. So we could also do these at the CDI. Le CDI is the Centre de Documentation et d'Information. It's just a long word to say library, basically. But CDI, on vient ici aussi pour étudier et emprunter des livres. So verbs are highlighted in green, masculine words are highlighted in blue, and then feminine words are highlighted in pink or red. But on vient ici aussi pour étudier et emprunter des livres. Étudier, we know from previous levels of French, is to study. Emprunter, you've heard me say a million times before, but emprunter is the verb to borrow. So emprunter des livres, to borrow books. Le ou la documentaliste travaille au CDI. Le ou la documentaliste, c'est un professeur qui est là, that is there, pour vous assister dans vos recherches, répondre à vos questions et vous guider dans votre travail. So the librarian is a teacher that's there to help you with your research, to respond to your questions, and to guide you in the work that you're doing. À Belleville, c'est Madame Jetan. So at Belleville, this is Mrs. Jetan. On va à la cantine pour déjeuner. And before I put this picture up here, I want you to figure out what la cantine might be. So we know that déjeuner is the verb to lunch or to like have lunch. And en France, le déjeuner est un peu différent. So in France, lunch is a little bit different. So we think la cantine has to be the cafeteria. Et ça, c'est une photo de la déjeuner en France. Uh, so basically, lunch in French is quite different from here in the United States. It's kind of like if you go to Ikea and you pick things off of like a shelf and you can put it on your tray and you basically take that rather than having what we have in the States or in Belleville where you go to different like stations and you can buy things that way. Their food always has a couple different food groups. They usually get a little dessert with them. On this picture, you can see it's a petite tarte aux pommes. It's a little apple tart. 
but they usually get bread and cheese because that's very popular in France along with some other things. Entre les cours, so between classes, entre les cours, on peut retrouver les amis dans le cours de récréation. So between classes, on peut retrouver, we can find les amis, friends, dans le cours de récréation. Now, in the United States, we don't really have these in high school. It's kind of like a recess yard, um, but we don't really have these at the high school. So at our high school, you could kind of consider that outdoor eating area as le cours de récréation, but you kind of get the idea. Quand on est malade, <coughs> On rend visite à l'infirmière, l'infirmière, à l'infirmerie. So when we are sick, malade is sick, on rend visite, we go visit or we visit l'infirmière, l'infirmière, à l'infirmerie. So ça c'est l'infirmerie, this is the nurse's office. Ça c'est l'infirmière, l'infirmière, so the nurse. Ça c'est le masculin et la féminin. On fait du sport. We know du sport from French too when we talked about sports. On fait du sport dans le complexe sportif. So le complexe sportif is just the athletic complex or the sports complex. And we talked a little bit about sports um, back in French too, but we'll just go over a little bit of them now. So à la complexe sportif, so at the athletic complex, il y a le terrain de sport and la piste, la piste d'athlétisme. So back in French too, we had talked about specific sports. And one of those specific sports that you learned was to do track and field, faire de l'athlétisme. So now we're actually learning la piste, which is the actual track that the people are running on. And le terrain de sport is the field. So like, on peut jouer au football américain, au terrain de sport. So we could play American football or we could play football on the athletic field or on the field. And on peut faire de l'athlétisme à la piste. We could do track and field on the track. On peut y participer à une compétition. So there we can participate à une compétition, a competition. Participer au relay, so we could participate in relays. Au sauter des ailes, sauter des ailes is to hurdle, for those hurdles, sauter des ailes, to jump over hurdles. Et ça, c'est pour l'athlétisme, that's for track and field. And remember, this is la piste, this part right here, la piste. On est content ou contente quand on gagne, so we're happy when we win. Et on est triste quand on perd. We're sad when we lose. Si on joue au basket ou au volley, so if we play basketball or if we play volleyball, on a des matchs et des entraînements dans le gymnase. So des matchs kind of looks like the word in English, matches or games. Et des entraînements, practice. Dans le gymnase, in the gymnasium. Gym gymnase kind of looks like gymnasium, so that might help you figure out that word. Entraînement, think of like training, because it kind of has train in there. So entraînement might help you figure out that means practices. Pour discuter l'université, on rend visite au conseiller ou à la conseillère d'éducation. So, par exemple... Um, Mademoiselle Sable, ou Madame Robinson Quick, ou Monsieur Kellum, ou Monsieur Sweets. Um, ce sont des conseillers. So those are all counselors d'éducation. So conseiller, au conseiller is a male counselor, and à la conseillère, c'est a feminine, a um, female counselor. Pour entrer dans une bonne université, il faut avoir de bonnes notes. And so note, ça c'est une note. And we'll talk more about what grades in France look like. But just so you know, final grades in France are given out of 20. And for somebody to receive a 20 out of 20 is exceptional, like very hard to receive 20 out of 20. It's not uncommon for most kids in France to receive 10 or 15 out of 20. And the Sorbonne is a very, very, very popular university in France. Aussi, si on rate un examen, c'est pas bon. 
So we know that when we fail an exam, it's not good. We already know c'est pas bon means it's not good. So rate is that verb to fail. Si on réussit ou passe, si on réussit un interro. So if we succeed or we pass a quiz, on doit faire la fête. We must party. So si on réussit ou passe, if we succeed or if we pass a quiz, on doit faire la fête, we have to celebrate. Si vous faites des bêtises en classe, vous allez vous trouver en retenue. So des bêtises are like tricks or uh, I guess you could call it like bad things that you do in class. Like if you act up in class, vous allez vous retrouver en retenue. So you'd find yourself in detention. Et il est triste, he said. Okay, c'est tout pour aujourd'hui. That's it for today. Si vous avez des questions, envoyez-moi un email ou regardez cette vidéo encore une fois or watch this video one more time. C'est tu et à plus.